Hey my lovelies, my name is Jane and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going through some makeup products that I would really really like to buy and didn't get around to doing in 2020. So hopefully in 2021 I will finally get to have these products in my collection which would be awesome. But before we get started I'd really appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button so without any further ado, I'd say I've put myself to one side because up here I can put some pictures in of the items that I haven't got yet that I would really, really like. So I did write a list the other day when I was thinking of sort of different ideas for YouTube and I thought it'd just be fun to kind of look back on it next year and see whether I actually got all these items or not. So the first item, I got a list. Let's get me a list because I would never remember off the top of my head. I should do because I've wanted them for a while and I just never got round to doing it. So I should really know what they are. So the first thing is the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. I've been after that one most of the year and it's one of those ones I've just, I have no idea why, but I've just never got round to buying. But that is definitely a top of my list. The price for that one is £26, I believe. So, you know, nothing too spectacular, but hopefully one day I will get that. Next on my list is I'd really like a Chanel lipstick. I'd be happy with just one. You know, they range at about, I don't know, between 29 and 31 pounds. So I've been looking at them all year, hoping one would go on sale. It never did. <laughs> so still haven't got one of those. And sticking with lipstick, a Dior lipstick. I would also really like one of those. That would be just really nice. I've got this little shelf where my vanity mirror is, a tiny wing little shelf. And I've got some what I call my high-end really good lipsticks on there so it'd be nice just to have kind of another couple just to go on there at the moment next on my list is the charlotte tilbury loose setting powder i've got two of her compact ones i've got the fair and the medium in the flawless airbrush flawless filter powders flipping awesome the fair one is my go-to at the moment for setting under my eyes absolutely love it in the summer it was the medium because i got really really tanned on lockdown we had the sunshine out in the garden on my lounger every day so <laughs> can't get away with that one at the moment but um so I'd really like to try the loose setting powder if it's as good as the pressed ones I'll be very happy and that retails about 33 pounds next on the list is a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette I think at this stage I'll be happy with any of them you know even the 60 pound one I'd be happy with it's been on my wish list now for a couple of years, but, you know, I only work part time <laughs> right now. It's just not achievable. The £60 one would be more achievable. So that's probably the most likely one. It's a toss up between a couple. I think there's a bronze one that was released not long ago. And then you've got the Sunset Palette and the Love Palette. And I do like all of those three. So I'd be happy with any of them, to be honest. Next is another Charlotte Tilbury product. Got my eye on the the large pillow talk palette. Um, I think it's what, oh gosh, how many shades? Mm, I want to say about 15, 15 shades. It's again, it's 60 pounds, which isn't too bad really for, you know, it's a Charlotte Tilbury product. You know, it's going to be a high price tag on that one. I keep looking at it. I've got both pillow talk lipsticks, the sort of the, the original and the medium. You know, I've got foundations, I've got bronzers, I've got highlighters. I've got so much of Charlotte Tilbury now, which is who I coveted in 2020. It's like, I want to own Charlotte Tilbury products. So, you know, I think I don't have an eyeshadow palette by her. So that's the one that I'm looking at getting in 2021. The next one is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I thought I'd better read that because I'm going to get it wrong. <laughs> I know I've got a shed load of setting powders. I've probably got too many setting powders, but I hear such good things about that one. And it's one of those ones that it's like, I just want to try it. They do actually do a mini of it on Cold Beauty for £17 or the full size one is 45 So I think I'd be more inclined to get the £17 one just to try it. And if I really, really like it, then I would suck the price tag up and get the £45 one. Last on the list, so it's not a very long list. So, you know, it's quite achievable is the Dull Beauty Highlighter. They've got, they do a trio of highlighters and they also do individual ones. And it's a toss up between one of the individual ones, which name I cannot remember, or maybe the trio 
of ones and again you know they're not very expensive it's just I haven't got round to getting it you know there's no particular reason I haven't got any of these I think sometimes I just need other things more or something new will come out a new palette will come out and it's a case of I really want that more right now so I think you know as newer things seems to be slowing down obviously with our lovely pandemic all over the world I think now is the time that I'll be able to pick those up a little bit easier than sort of new releases coming at me going oh I need that first I need that first I always seem to need something else first so I'm going to make a very conscious effort to get all these by the end of the year there's no real reason I can't do that so <laughs> so it's just a really short video today you know nothing spectacular just thought it would be nice just to see what was on my coveted list that I just never got around to picking up in 2020 and I can look back on it next year and do another video and did I actually get them hopefully I got all of them <laughs> so thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one